Just as I get to the front of the classroom, I trip and the cake falls out of my hand and onto my shoes. I bring this up as a failure because sometimes, you know, there are these snags in our memory where we stick on these moments and they should have just come and gone. And yet they are as vivid as the day it happened. And the earliest huge failure for me was it was my birthday, except my birthday's in August. So we, you know, you're very young and you want to celebrate with everybody because everybody who has a birthday during the school year gets to have cake mm-hmm. and thing. So my mom made me a cake uh, to bring in right as the school year started in September in, in Canada. So we did a, a celebration around my birthday because it's in August. And I was feeling a little embarrassed anyway because it wasn't really my birthday, but it was anyway. The cake is at the back of the classroom. My teacher says, we have a surprise for the class. I knew what the surprise was. And she said, Daniel, I'm going to go and get the cake. And I said, no, 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 I can get the cake. I'll get the cake. Very excited, happy to share with the class. As I'm walking up, I, the, the cake is revealed. The class is excited. Just as I get to the front of the classroom, I trip and the cake falls out of my hand and onto my shoes and flips sort of cake first onto mm-hmm. the ground. And the class obviously is hysterically laughing. And it is the deepest humiliation I'd felt in my young life. And I looked around and didn't know what to do. And it's that time where you're young and you don't know whether you should cry Mm. or laugh. And so my reaction was to sort of, I guess, go completely pale in the face and then reach down and start to eat the cake (laughs) off my shoes. I don't know what that impulse was. I think it was kind of panic and, and deep embarrassment. And it was a moment that I've remembered because in a way it, I've kind of intellectualized it as like the first exertion of hubris or something. Like I was like, no, 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 I'm, I got the cake. Mm. You don't need to get the cake for me. I have it. And I didn't, I was too young. My hands were probably too small. The cake was too heavy, all of those things. And then it, (laughs) it just, it was a, it was a symbolic thing. Yes. I have to say. It's so interesting to me how many people on this podcast do choose moments like that from their early childhood where what they embarrass that? themselves. Well, I think because I have it too. So I used to have, I still have a birthday every year. I don't know why. I, I used to have a birthday Wonderful. every year. Wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> I know. I don't like to boast, <laughs> but it's true. And my mother used to make me a cake mm-hmm. and she used to put magic candles on, the ones that you blow out and then they relight. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And she would do it every year. And every year I would feel mortified because my friends would laugh and I would think they were laughing at me. And I felt so upset by it. And I think it's that thing of when you're a child and you're trying to work out who you are in this confusing world Mm -hmm. and you don't know whether someone is making fun of you or is on your side, it can feel quite terrifying. Yeah. And, And I... A bit like you, I didn't have the happiest school experience for various reasons. And I wonder what you were like after that as a child at school. What was your school experience? I just, to me, I look back, I've never liked school. Me neither. Not a single day. (laughs) And I think part of it had to do with the fact that I wasn't the truest expression of myself. And I think when you're playing a a part, it gets exhausting and it, it gets kind of boring and you don't like yourself because you're hiding yourself in 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 my particular case I just wanted to get through it because I think in my mind I thought once school is done people will have the maturity to accept me and it was kind of true thanks for tuning in and if you found this video enjoyable be sure to check out the full episode on your preferred podcast platform and make sure you're following how to fail on social media for additional content and updates